Hello once again. Thanks for coming back. Um, thanks for persevering with these reflections on James, the letter of James, chapter 1. Uh, today we reach verse uh, 18. He, which is God, chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. Now, as I look at this verse, my initial response is what is meant by the first fruits of all he created? Uh, I'm still not sure, I'm sure. Um, but my reflection, my, my immediate reflection is on that first sentence. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth. So God chooses, has chosen to reveal his truth in the person of Jesus, but also in the words of scripture. God has chosen, he's ordained for his scriptures to be written down uh, and to be presented to us, to be preserved over all these generations, to be presented to us in a way that we can understand and in a way that we can apply. God chose to do that. It didn't happen by accident. It didn't happen by some random collision of forces. It is the choice the decision, the free will offering of a God who wants to uh, draw close to his people and, and have his people draw close to him. God chose to reveal something of himself and God chose to give us birth, new birth into a living hope as it's described elsewhere. God chose to welcome us into his family. That, that's this image of new birth. It's a, it's a bit like adoption, isn't it? We're being adopted into God's family. We're being given a new name. We're being given a new character. We're being given a new family unit around us. God chooses to choose us. And he does that gladly, willingly uh, and lovingly. So that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. Well, I think what, what um, James is getting at here is that he, he chose, uh, cho chooses us to, to live for him so that we can then be an example uh, of what it means to live for him and others will hopefully see uh, how we live and be attracted to why. Uh, want to find out more, want to embrace more, want to discover more and want to mimic uh, the, the, the things that we do. Now, how we live and uh, how that kind of translates into action, well, we'll come on to that um, starting tomorrow. But for the, for the moment, let's just remember that God chose us and he chose us for a reason. He chose us because he's choosing others as well. And he wants us to demonstrate to them what it means to belong to his family. Where will you be today or tomorrow? Who will, who, who will you be among? What opportunities will we have to show others what it means to belong to him and his family? I'll leave you to think about that and to pray about it as we do now. Let's pray. Lord God, wherever you carry us, wherever you take us, you remain with us. Help us to, help us to introduce people to you. Help us to show what it means um, to know you and to live for you and to seek to delight you. Help us to reveal you to all whom we meet. Amen. Bless you. Um, thank you so much. And I'll, I'll be back again tomorrow. Take care.